What sets PixInsight apart from other astrophotography software is that it's not just an application, it's a software development platform. PixInsight enables you to create new tools and design and implement algorithms, developing new products tailored to the specific needs of astronomy. There are currently two development frameworks in PixInsight. The first is based on C++ programming language and can be used to create new modules. Users can take advantage of the PixInsight class library, an open source library available under a liberal BSD license, to write open source or freeware products as well as commercial ones. The second development framework is based on JavaScript and can be used to write scripts. Unlike modules, scripts are like boxes that we can open to read the source code inside. One of the advantages of JavaScript is that you can program in PixInsight without needing to use any external tools. PixInsight provides a source code editor so you can write scripts from inside the application itself. Writing scripts in PixInsight is therefore a quick, easy, and smooth process. Another advantage of JavaScript is that it can be used to access and execute PixInsight processes, so it's the perfect choice for automating image processing sequences. WBPP is a good example of this. This script coordinates the configuration and execution of all the tools involved in image pre-processing. Each of these tools can be accessed individually and configured and executed manually, but WBPP speeds up the process by providing a single interface to define the parameters for all the tools. It then executes them all in an automated manner. This communication between processes is more limited in modules written in C++, but these modules have other advantages, like efficient use of system resources, parallel execution, and high execution speed. There are also some operations that can't be done in JavaScript, including routine ones like integrating images. Integrating these images takes just a few minutes if we do it with image integration, but would take forever with JavaScript. This is generally true of processes that need to access images at the individual pixel level. Finally, in terms of their interfaces, script windows are modal, so they don't allow you to access other graphical elements that are underneath them. This isn't something we have to worry about with tools developed using the PixInsight class library. We're going to look at a couple of examples. Here you have two example scripts, one that calculates image statistics and another that combines two images. Let's analyze the first one. In this script we have a main function, which is the one to be executed, and that function has a loop that iterates all image windows. The loop then executes this function on each of those windows. The function accesses the main view of each image window, then calculates median and median absolute deviation values for the images in those main views. Finally, it displays those values on the console. Let's look at what happens when we compile and execute the script. For each image, the script displays the values we asked for. It's really easy to change the code in JavaScript. For example, instead of the median, we could calculate the mean. Or we could ask it to calculate the standard deviation. If we compile the script again, it calculates the measures we asked it to. Now let's look at the second script. This one combines two images. It has a main function which defines two image identifiers, image A and image B. Image A was taken using an R filter and image B with an H alpha filter. Once it's defined the two identifiers, the script executes the combine images function which will combine the two images. The combine images function creates a pixel math process. We can define an instance of any process and see the corresponding code. We can then copy that code exactly to include it in our script. This is precisely what we're doing in this script. This instance of pixel math is executing the op sub operation subtracting one image from another. When we execute it, it subtracts image B from image A. 
The result is a new image where the nebula has almost disappeared because we've subtracted the H-alpha image from the R image. We're now going to modify the script so that instead of subtracting, we add the two images by changing op sub to op add. But before we do this, we're going to rotate the R image 180 degrees. This means the nebula is on the right, but in the H alpha image, it's on the left. If we execute the script now with this other operation, we get an image with two nebulas, the H alpha one on the left and the R one on the right. PixInsight is a development platform because this is the only way to ensure that it continues to evolve following the paths set out by its community of users and developers. The next videos in the series will look at some examples of modules and scripts created by the PixInsight user community.